Hello, uh, we will try to learn how to use insert elements tool. So uh, first you can find the insert elements under the separate tools for Revit, Create and Modify tab. So here you can find insert elements. And right now we will try to understand uh, how insert elements by related objects works. Uh, but first I would like to explain uh, differences between uh, different hosted elements. Here uh, you have to open uh, the sample project. This sample project you can find uh, under the eHelp and here you will find different elements um, that are hosted in the different ways. For example, uh, here we have uh, point-based elements uh, like a table and, and a lamp. Uh, then we have two wall-based um, uh, families. Um, it's a uh, double switch and uh, here we have radiator. Uh, then ceiling-based family. Uh, then line-based family and uh, a face-based family. So uh, this, those families are just uh, sample families for best understanding how the tool works. But actually you can, instead of them, you can use any kind of your own created families. So right now let's uh, start with um, adding um, a very simple point-based families. First, I will draw a model. Uh, I will take just regular wall and we will create some shape of the walls. Okay. Uh, so right now, let's add rooms. Okay. And uh, the first task would be to insert um, tables into such rooms automatically. So what I'm going to do uh, right now, uh, first actually let's check uh, it would be actually recommended to check the height of the rooms and um, actually the rooms has to be created from the level to the level uh, according to the beam standard so that should be the rule so right now i will filter the rooms and i'm saying that uh, upper limit of my rooms is level two right now i'm working on level one and right now I'm sure that my rooms, they're going from level 1 to level 2. And I'm trying to distribute those furnitures in, uh, into such rooms. Um, actually, I can be on any view I want. Uh, I can be on the plan view. At the same time, I can be on the 3D view. It doesn't matter. Right now, let's go into insert elements. And we will use insert elements by related to objects. So right now we will uh, insert tables into the rooms that are created in the model. Let's go into insert elements. Here I have the list of all categories uh, that I can use for inserting my other objects. So right now I'm going to use the rooms because I'm going to put my tables into the rooms, into the filtered rooms. After pressing OK, uh, here you will get the list of all rooms that are created right now in the project. As you see, there are four rooms created and uh, uh, every single room is displayed as a, separate, as a separate row. So you can go on each other row and you can see, and you can select uh, those uh, elements and you can see that selection in the project. So here you will understand where, where you are going to insert those tables. Uh, right now, um, all those tables, and actually there are three, co uh, three columns, like level, room name, and again the room name. And actually uh, those columns you can select um, um, through the configuration grouping. Uh, so here uh, we can go 
into configuration and here you can look into parameters uh, that are created additionally and here you can say that you would like to look into the level and the room name or maybe department or the category or any other parameter actually right now the level and the room name is enough i don't need to use any more uh, parameters for grouping and for filtering so those two parameters they will be displayed as the hello columns uh, additional parameters that you want to use you can select with the select parameters in the left side you will get the list of all available parameters and in the right side you can pick the ones you want so it could be an area um, and perimeter maybe the room number for example the volume and, and so on and after pressing ok you will get the list of those parameters now those parameters can be used in filtering and in finding the rooms you want because the tables can be inserted not into the in not into all the rooms so you can filter and you can select the rooms you want press with the right click and you can filter by selected data so in such case the tables will be inserted into those two rooms and that's it again if you want to come back you can press on project name and here you will get again the list of all the rooms that are created in the project so if it's needed to make a filter you can click on the value go with the right click and here uh, you can find possibility to filter by selected data right now uh, we are going to insert our tables into all the rooms so right now i have the list of all the rooms in my dialog so everything is okay here and right now i'm going into the second tab and with the second tab i'm going to say what kind of element i would like to distribute so here you will get the list of all elements that are loaded into your project so let's find uh, the furniture I need. It's you can pick any table type you want, and you have to add it to the right side of the dialog. So as you see here, this is a point-based element. So here you can check uh, the host of uh, the family. So it's really a point-based object, and the tool just for better understanding and for checking that this is really point this family you can see the value here and the tool gives you a rule uh, and the tool says right now that the element uh, will be placed on the level uh, to the room location point uh, here if it's needed you can modify additional parameters but right now everything is okay we don't need to change them additionally so that's it after making such configuration you can press insert a model and there are four elements inserted so after pressing ok we can check that in our project i'm going into the 3d view and here i can see that the tables are really added into every into each every room um, I'm, I'm coming back again into the plan view so as you see here when I select the room so this is the room location point so exactly the table is inserted into that uh, room location point those families are really just regular families so anytime if you want you can move those families into the place you need uh, you can rotate them you can make the changes with the families but still uh, you will not need to put them manually one by one into the rooms you want it will be automatical process